Hello everyone. In uh, this episode, we're going to uh, look at a couple of applications and, and, sh and I'll show you how you can find support resources for those applications. So again, I'm going to stick with Evernote and Google Docs. Um, I, in the previous episode, I kind of showed you how uh, you can find uh, their cross-platform support or cross-browser support. Um, so now I'm going to show you how to find help resources for these applications. So again, with Evernote, we just scroll to the bottom of their home page and we see that there is a link for support. So we'll just click that link. And um, they have some popular help topics that you can look through. They've got uh, browser, browse help talk, hot topics, they have guides for each of their applications, their communities, and then of course where you can download the applications. Um, but this screen here, this is what I wanna draw your attention to, this section is get help or report a problem. So here you can read help topics, so you can go to Evernote's knowledge base and read up on information uh, regarding uh, Evernote and, and support for Evernote. Um, there's also an Evernote community, so you can actually get help from others that use the application as well. Uh, and then they have a contact us page, so you can uh, contact Evernote directly for, with live chat or email uh, to get support. Now for this, for the contact us piece, you do have to be a premium, uh, at least a premium member. Uh, meaning that you pay $45 a year for premium service on Evernote. Um, otherwise, you'll have to rely on these other two help topics. Now we'll go over to Google Docs. And again, we'll click the help uh, link in the upper right hand corner. And then here, um, you'll see this is, this is where we found uh, settings and requirements. We found out information about um, cross-platform support. Um, but this section, this whole section here is, is to help you get started uh, with, Ever, with uh, Google Docs. <clears throat> this next section uh, shows you how to organize your Google Docs. The next section kind of covers how to work offline and share files, collaborate with Google Docs. And then it has um, context-specific support for each of the uh, Google applications. So Google Docs, Google Sheets. Google Slides, which is like a PowerPoint alternative, Google Forms, and Google Drawings. Uh, and then they have a, a section on privacy policies and abuse, but then they also have a troubleshoot issues section. So here's where you can go in and kind of, if you're having some technical difficulties, you can kind of go in and see, um, you know, what, what are the known issues and, and some of the typical um, troubleshooting uh, pieces that you, can, that you can use to get help. Um, and in addition to that, you'll see down here on the bottom, I've got this little slider here. Um, so they have a blog, and then you can follow the uh, you know Google developers on Google Plus. Um, some video help uh, with the basics, but then also they have um, additional resources. So uh, additional resources for um, uh, Google Apps, and then Google Docs uh, editors uh, service status. So you can find out uh, if they're if the service is down. And then in the upper right hand corner here, they have a help forum. So it's kind of like that community uh, section with Evernote uh, where you can get uh, additional help as well. So that's all I have in this episode and we'll see you next time.